Here I'll, I'll formalize the idea of an improper integral with respect to discontinuities and asymptotes of a function. So suppose we know that for t smaller than b, the integral t till b fx dx exists for t larger than a number a. Yeah, so this means that f is defined on the interval a, b, where a is not considered. Then we define the integral from a to b fx dx as the limit for t goes to a plus of this integral, so from t till b fx dx. Yeah, so this is just the same as uh, the former example where we treated the function fx is 1 over the square root of x, where a was 0 and b was 1. Now, we also can do the kind of dual procedure, right? So it was not typical that the left endpoint did not belong to the domain of the function, but sometimes also we have the similar thing on the right-hand side. So suppose that the integral from a to b of a to t fx dx exists for all t smaller than b. Then we define the integral from a to b fx dx as the limit for t to b minus of the integral a to t fx dx. Yeah, so we basically take a limit where the upper integration boundary closes in and b from the left. So we have to think of these limits as, uh, of, of, of these integrals as limits. So, uh, these integrals, uh, as a limit can converge and also can diverge. You know, so whenever these limits are plus or minus infinity, they are divergent. And, um, when there's a number such that a number L such that the integral from a to b fx dx equals l, then we'll call the integral.